Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Today, we're gonna try and take out our second alien ruler while we assault another alien facility in Operation Warslayer. On this mission, we've uh, assembled a specific team to take out this alien ruler. So we've uh, taken with us Elena, who is gonna be able to perform a lot of damage on a single target with Banish. Then we have two snipers, since snipers, if they're out of sight, can actually keep firing on the ruler without retaliation if they do it from afar. Then Kelly with the bolt caster and the mimic beacon. So the bolt caster has a chance of stunning the alien ruler. Then we have Heidi with the high damage, of course, with the shotgun and the sword, but also with a frost attack and the viper suit. And then we have uh, Marina with the War Suit, the Shred Storm Cannon, but most importantly, two Frost Bombs. So hopefully that's gonna work and uh, we can take out that ruler in one go. Here we go. And there we go, dropping into the force, which it looks like we start on an elevated position. Menace 1 5, target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X 4 charges. Aha. Uh -huh. That is actually really good. Because that would mean that we actually already are at the highest position that we can be at. Um, okay. That means that we just need to put our snipers up here. And then we'll be able to move down with the rest of the squad. Eyes on a hostile patrol. Okay, and we see our first patrol on the right there. That was a priest, a shield bay and a mech, I think. So we're going to have to move in that direction to take those guys out before we trigger the ruler. And it seems they're coming closer. I have put everybody in cover, so I don't think they'll spot anybody. But it would give us a nice first shot. I don't know why the camera's moving over there. Okay, there we go. So next up, I should probably move Elena back over to the front here. Well, to the back, basically, if you if you see the facility as the front. There we go, you cannot run. Um, I don't know where the mech is. Okay, the mech is still up top. Let's start with the sniper rifles then. Uh, Erica does not seem to have a... Well, she has a good shot on the mech. That's basically the only shot she has. I could start using bombs, but I want to keep the bombs for the gatekeeper. I know it's also on the field. So I think a first sniper rifle shot is probably going to be a-okay. 100%. 8 to 10 damage. He has a lot of uh, armor, but at least here's our first shot with the Dark Lance. Blammo. Ooh, and that was just the lowest amount of damage I could do. And we're immediately revealed, of course. The target is marked. Okay, and he goes into Overwatch. Let's see. I could try Haywire Protocol, but the problem is that if I try and do that, I might risk triggering the um, the ruler. So I'm just going to do Combat Protocol. That's going to take out the mech in one fell swoop, because Combat Protocol does 10 damage by now against robotic enemies. There we go. Probably need some sort of shredding on the, hmm, on the shield bay over here. I don't have another shot with Christina now, which is interesting. Um, she does have a bond action with Marina. So if I move Heidi over here, so I can flank the priest. Uh, let's try that. That's affirmative. Wait a second, why is the priest, uh, the shield bear? Ooh. I just saw the Berserker Queen. She was right behind that third. Yeah, she was definitely right behind that third. Okay. Ooh, gotta be careful. But at least we know where she is, I think. It's a Berserker Queen, I guess. Um, elite Priest or Elite Shield Bear? Um, I might get a kill with on the Shield Bear. Three extra damage for the critical should be fine. Or... I go for the priest and just do rapid fire on the priest. That should be good. That's one. So the critical didn't kill him. 
Ah, and he, ooh, double critical, but he, he can't do stasis in between those two. That's stupid. That is ridiculous. Okay, um... Let's use Marina as our next move. Um, let's put her just over here. Finally. And then we can get rid of the cover of the shield bear. Like this, with demolition. There we go, cover removed. And then we can use Christina's extra bond action to give that to Marina. So Marina can tear through the armor of the... Uh... And you know what? Marina still needs a promotion, so I could technically try a shot with Elena. Like this, because that also has shredding. Ooh, and that was even a critical. 13 damage. But we are revealed. Now we fight in the open. And now we can just finish it off with the shield bear. There we go, we get loot. You want some more? And then we can put the scene on Overwatch. Weapons empty, can't engage. So if that priest waits up. Tactical analysis. No 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 no. Blade storm, there we go. There we go. Okay, first three enemies down. And oh, Berserker Queen fight. location found as well. Tactical analysis. I don't know what tactical analysis is, by the way. I have no idea what that is. Um, but let's put Elena back into... Uh, you know what? Let's reload her. Because for some reason she started with one round less in the chamber. And then put it in shadow again. And I want to take a look. I want to take a look at that Berserker Queen. I think if I put it over here, she should be able to see her. There is nowhere to hide. So she saw something. It might be just, yeah, it might be just a third for now. Um, I'm going to prepare and I'll see you guys in a second. Let's grab the loot along the way. So superior hair trigger and advanced conditioning. Advanced conditioning is really good because that's extra health. Um, and then I definitely don't, don't move up. I could actually try and take out the turret from here. If I get lucky, I might actually kill it. I might as well. I have three reloads on Erica. So this isn't really a waste. And that's a critical. So that's 10 damage. And then with the second shot, I should be able to... Ooh. Why is that less... Less chance? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, double critical. Never mind. Um, it does make sense because uh, there's a bigger scope on Erika's weapon. <gasps> oh, gold. How? Why? Okay. Um, that's an Overwatch shot with a shotgun. All the aliens running around out there these days. She just had to modify a berserker. Didn't so curiosity was not unfounded. Although wow. I agree, it was perhaps not the most prudent of choices. We've got a chance to take this thing down once and for all, Commander. Let's get it done. I know where you are. Okay, let's please not react to it all too much. Now the question is, are the snipers in the back enough? I think they are. Yeah, okay. Um, but that armor is gonna suck. Okay. The first thing we need to try is stun it. As stunning, we can do that with the pl the plasma. Oh crap! I'm shitting my pants right now. This is yeah, that's a thing. That is definitely a thing. Um, plasma caster. Ninety-seven percent chance. That didn't. That didn't seem to stun it. That didn't seem to stun it. Okay, the Sorinted is not. Is we gotta keep clear of that knockback. Okay. Um. Fuck. Um. We have frost bombs. So we should probably do the frost bombs. Ooh. Um. Yeah, frost bomb it is. 
Here we go. There we go. Frost bomb and then down, down, down this. Frozen for two turns. Yeah, my sniper rifles just became useless, by the way. Um, she has the grappling hook. But the grappling hook only works when it goes up. Ooh, shit. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Um, I could fire at it. That's 100% chance. Okay. But I should probably use the... I can't even use the grapple because she's disoriented. Um, but I think I can move back and let Kelly... Oh, this is such a bad idea. Okay. First things first, I think I can... Sting, as long as I'm in shadow. But Sting isn't gonna know. I need to banish this thing. Who Nelly? Um, I'm hoping this is gonna get it close to killing. Because, uh, yeah, banish. Here we go. Time to join your gods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blood trail, that's also good. Okay, very nice. Six, five. That thing has a big health bar, by the way. Six. Another six. And another one. Five. And that's basically it. That. It seems like it's still frozen, but I'm guessing that won't take too long anymore. Um, you know what? These two are actually out of sight, right? He can't see them right now. This is probably also not going to change that, but if I move Christina over here. Okay, he did react to that for some reason, but if I do lightning hands, I don't think that uses an action, so. And he has burning now as well. Okay, um, I could supplement that with fanfire. Which would give him even more damage down range. Oh, damn, that was a double critical. Ah, but that thought. Is he gonna get an action immediately now as well? No. Okay. Then I think I have a second frost bomb. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna use it. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, Berserker Queen. Bombs away indeed, and then I think with a single shotgun blast, I might be able to kill it. So it's frozen for two more turns. I think I might be just shy of one point to be able to do this. Even with this orientation, it reduced her critical chance, but that's about it. That's a normal shot, eight damage. But still frozen for one more turn. Um, I'm just gonna put Erica on Overwatch. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. I don't. Okay then. Come on, please. Nothing happens, right? Yeah, okay. Because he only gets. She only gets uh, reaction shots when I do something. Um, who do I, who do I want to? I can't talk anymore. Who do I want to give this to? Um, do I use the acid bomb? I think that's going to be overboard. I'm just going to use. I'm just going to use Heidi. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to use Heidi. Heidi, just kill this thing, please. Wait, was it not? Was it not? Oh crap! Okay. Um, then yeah, I definitely not, I'm, I'm not gonna, wait a second, I have a pistol shot, sniper rifle shot, yeah, go for it, go for it, I don't care, <laughs> just kill it. Oh my god. No. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I'd love to ask Valen what exactly she planned on doing with this thing. <laughs> I would be curious to hear her reasoning, although I would question whether reason was ever involved in this decision. Ah, that went wrong in a lot of ways, but there we go. <laughs> we didn't even get a use out of our second sniper. Wow, yeah. Um, but we did kill it in the first time we met it. 
We didn't kill it while it was trying to escape, which is something else you can get a trophy for, but... Probably if I waited another turn, I could have done that, but right now I really, really, really don't care. Um, let's reload everybody and just take this facility, because I guess there's not much alive here anymore, aside from that gatekeeper. So there's definitely something in there, so I'm gonna move Marina up to the door and let her open it. Let's do this! Because uh, she has the most armor with the war suit on her uh, shoulders as well. So let's open that door. And do we spot anything? No. Okay, so we're going to move everybody closer then. Uh, maybe even right next to the window here. Just to double check. Doesn't seem like there's anybody in the building. Which is weird, but I'm going to take it. And there we go, everybody on Overwatch who could... And we still hear them in the back somewhere, but for now this seems to be fine. Um, yeah, this is weird. I would think they were they would protect the facility if they would hear the noise coming from uh, the other side. But if we just go over here and place down some X4 charges, if we can do that without getting spotted, then I mean, we can just evac, right? Menace 1 5, status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Okay. Order's confirmed. Moving out. This is weird, but I mean, this is a tactical decision. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna evac out of here, I suppose. Because the last remaining aliens are clearly on the other side of the. Uh, of the area. Wait a second, how do I. Ah, oh, call Sky Ranger, that's it. Um, let's do that right over here. So that's the evac zone. And then we can just move everybody in here, I suppose. I <laughs> this is a, a little bit old, but... I I mean, this is exactly yeah, what, what I'm supposed to do, so... Sure thing. The only uh, person that couldn't On get... Oh, wait, I can even evac now. Because... I can actually send a bond action to Heidi. So she has that last move to go in. So now she can actually move into the evac zone as well. Heading to that location. And then I can evac everybody. This is uh, this has been a really weird mission. I'm coming home. There we go. Um, evacing just everybody. And just don't press the wrong button. And there we go. Bye, aliens. Have fun exploding. I hope I get the Berserker corpse, by the way. And there we go. Facility down. Something? There we go. One soldier wounded, five out of eight killed. And yeah, Operation War Slayer completed. Excellent. Now, the biggest question is, did we get the Berserker corpse or not? Because uh, technically we evac, so usually you don't get a corpse when you evac. We're evening up the score, Commander. Good work out there. And there we go. Erica even got a promotion out of that. And we have a bond level up available for Christina and Marina, which is really, really nice. Um, so she goes to the final... Hmm. The final rank of sharpshooter. And I'm definitely going for serial. So a powerful chain shot ability. For every kill made with your sniper rifle. Your actions will be refunded. And I'm actually going to take a look at her other abilities now as well. Having recovered another of Dr. Valen's modified alien test subjects. We should begin an autopsy as soon as possible. By following her own research notes. It is my hope that we will uncover the true purpose of her work. Okay, this behemoth has not only been genetically modified, but also given substantially altered equipment tied directly to its central nervous system. You mean the two jackhammers tied to her already giant fists? Um, extreme care should be taken when attempting to disconnect any of the embedded systems. I mean, she's dead already. This doesn't really matter all that much, but the uh, spear hair trade is always nice. And the advanced conditioning adds 3 HP to the soldier we wanted to be added to. As if the standard berserker was enough for our troops to deal with, 
This particular specimen has been substantially modified with some form of auxiliary injection system. Kind of like Bane from Batman. Circulating fluids throughout its body. I believe it may be possible to modify these systems for use in an armor suit of our own. But the fabrication process could be a challenge. Your troops performed admirably, Commander. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens' development of the Avatar project and give us time to further establish the resistance movement. There we go. So more Avatar project progress was delayed and we can actually upgrade the bond between Christina and Marina. So they'll be gone for six days, I think. Yeah, six days. Okay, confirm that bond. And then we can also train abilities on... Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Erica. Look at the amount of kernels we have. This is this is looking really, really nice. I'm really happy with all of that. She doesn't get a final ability. That is sad, but yeah, okay, it is what it is. But this, every Vigilant is actually really strong on a sniper rifle, by the way. So, if you spend all of your actions on moves, you are granted an automatic overwatch shot at the end of the turn. Okay, thank you, Cancel. Um, we do have a very interesting combination of abilities here. So... We have aim automatically on a sharpshooter you can actually add. So Hunker Down now confirms plus 20 aim to the first shot on the following turn. Which is cool if you also combine it with deep cover. If you did not attack this turn, Hunker Down automatically. Combine that again with the Overwatch shot from Ever Vigilant, and you automatically gain a plus 20 aim Overwatch shot at the end of your turn if you just move. So yeah, I think I'm gonna make Erica in like the most badass sniper they ever is. Yeah, I'm gonna spend all those ability points, game. I'm really gonna do that. I'm even tempted to just give her lightning hands as well, just to give her a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage if she needs to, needs to but... Chain Shot is also really powerful on a sniper rifle, on a sniper... On a sharpshooter. God damn, I can't talk today. But I'll wait on that. She's uh, st strong enough as it is. Um, and with that... We're done for... Yeah, we can start scanning again. And we took out another uh, alien ruler. So I'm going to wait until a few people have been... Uh, have recovered before we hit the uh, last alien ruler. And I am also want to... I think I also want to wait until I've made the suit that you can get from the Berserker. Uh, so I'm just going to take a look at the... Was I scanning somewhere? Probably. No, I wasn't because I, yeah, I, I went to the alien facility on my own accord. So let's check out the black market and let's take a look at what he's selling. 133 supplies for 35 intel. Yes, sirree. Um, I could buy a few more upgrades. Uh, superior conditioning is always nice, but superior perception increases the aim. So I think superior perception might be nice. Yeah, let's buy Superior Perception as well. So accept. And that's gonna be it. I'll put that on one of our uh, Valkyries in a minute. Ooh. And we get a guerrilla operation when we go out of the... Okay. <laughs> the black market. Let's review that. So East Asia. Show of force. Uh, a large number of Advent Troopers under Advent-only leadership. So that's Officer Trooper, Max, and Sector Pulse. Which is pretty okay. And we get intel from that. Um, or an engineer, we don't need engineers. Um, and the, no, the counter-attack is also not something I want to block. But this. The return fire is more interesting. Uh, and I think Priest Trooper, Shield Bear, and Dromedon. Sectoid, Sectop, ooh, that is pretty hefty. Especially the combination of both an Andromedon and a Sectopod, if that's in the same pod of enemies. That's gonna hurt. But uh, I'm not one to back down from a challenge, so let's go to Western Europe and get those 237 supplies. Or do I want to have the intel? The intel is also really cool. Um, and I counter a hidden dark event. And I mean, advanced return fire, if I... If I don't miss, but of course I, I need to be certain that I don't miss then. Oh, I, I, can, I can work around that. So I think I'm going to go for East Asia then. For the 106 intel. Usually uh, you can double your intel into supplies anyway. Uh, through the black market. So yeah, I'm going to go for the intel. And I can buy maybe some more uh, PCS units from that. So East Asia, show of force. Let's check Seven that out. Four. 
So I'm gonna give the superior perception uh, ECS to Erica, which means I think she can't miss anymore. Um, so there we go, 19 aim. Yes, there we go. So that brings her aim up to 154, by the way, which is uh, which is gonna be incredible. So this is gonna be our squad for Operation Steaming Skull. We need to protect another device. Uh, we're gonna go with Sparky, Erica, Sarah, Hilda, Jacqueline, and Elisabetta Bianchi, uh, our uh, Sergeant uh, Grenadier. So again, three people who can get promotions, which we're still working towards. So uh, before that, I'm gonna take a little break. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you enormously for watching and goodbye.